Blinka, it's blinka, blinka. Time for Python on hardware. So it's a uh, fucking good time. Yeah. So I think these are cute. Um, this they are cute. Yeah. This is a series of. Um, it's it's an article, but it's also a GitHub thing. It's a uh, GitHub.com slash Adafruit slash Awesome dash MicroPythons. So um, through the not awesome MicroPython, awesome, awesome MicroPythons. Plural. Yeah. So MicroPython has a lot of different flavors and a lot of different ports and a lot of different forks. Correct. And uh, example is MicroPythons on a lot of calculators. Right. MicroPython. Um, there's a flavor of it for XP. There's a MicroPython for uh, ESP32s. Yeah. And so the thing that was a challenge was there wasn't one spot that listed all these. Yeah. So what we did is we made a list of all the awesome MicroPythons, including the forks, like CircuitPython is a derivative, it's a, a fork of MicroPython. Uh, for beginners, lots of hardware support. Yeah. Um, there's a fork of MicroPython that's just for the ESP32. Mm -hmm. There's one that got started for like the NXP series. Yeah. So we put all these together and then um, there was a helpful community member that there's this like chart generating thing so you can see um, all the different forks. Yeah. It's and approximate, ports. you know, the times aren't, you know, yeah. it's, it's, we're basing it off some GitHub data, which is not always yeah. 100%. Yeah, a lot of people don't know this, but the most distributed version of MicroPython is the one that's on the microbit. That's right. And that's millions. A that's a completely separate fork. Um, an early fork, an too. An early fork. Yeah. And, uh, and they're like, they're not, they don't take any updates. It's like, it's yeah. frozen in time. That's it. Yeah. And so it's a good, uh, I think, start of a community list of all these things. Uh, when it was made, if it's being maintained, all that stuff. So check that out. Also, uh, this was from CircuitPython Day for last year, but it just got posted. This is the video from the CircuitPython Celebration Day in Beirut. One of the things that we set out to do is have something that had international appeal um, for anyone on planet Earth. If you want to do educational programming. So this was neat, because we didn't plan this at all. Um, just people said, oh, by the way, we did one in Beirut. So watch the video, um, and you can see uh, the, the folks that put on the event and like their stories on the YouTube video as well. Uh, this is kind of neat. This is our update uh, that we did for our app. Um, Blue Fruit can control this little puppet. Kind of neat, there's Sparky. So it's a digital puppet that as you move it around. So we'll be doing this with Clue um, as well. Uh, speaking of Clue, Clue has been hitting the news, so a lot of people got there. They've been writing reviews and more, so check out those articles. Yeah, still alpha, but um, yeah. we'll be in release soon. Very exciting. Um, Open Hardware Summit is coming up pretty soon. The badge there is Circuit Python powered, and so I believe this was Alex who uh, showed the testers. This is a testing jig. Yeah, this is a testing. This jig. is an intense testing jig. Yeah. And this Look tests this. each badge. Yeah, it's Raspberry Pi powered. There's a display. There's yeah. a little magnetic holder. That's yeah, cool. Very exciting. So everyone who goes gets a Circuit Python watch badge. This is uh, Liz, also known as Blitz City, uh, who showed this project on show and tell tonight, but we had this in our Python on Hardware newsletter because it is a circuit Python based musical instrument. Melissa got her clue and the first thing she did was let's make sure this works with this little bot accessory. Um, one of the bits of feedback that we had already was, you know what I really like about clue? I can finally use all these accessories that I wanted to do a bunch of stuff with after I, um, and take know, them further. Yeah, and take them further and like all the stuff I wanted to do. Um, so that's neat to know. We also posted up our how we named and came up with the clue. So every single um, time that we do a project um, or a platform, um, you and I usually hang out and we do sketches and we write all these things and I scan them in. So yeah. this was neat. How do we arrive at the clue as a product? Um, so you can see that. It's kind of neat. Uh, special thanks to Andrew and Discord who made this handy dandy clue pinout. You can download it off of our site or you can check it out on um, Discord. Here is a Ultimaker Mini, and it uses the clue to light up the insides of it. It's kind of nice. Fun, easy project. Allie, who is teaching classes with kids, introduced 106 kids to the Circuit Playground Express, and uh, this is what that looks like. Here's all of them learning. Coding. Coding. Make coding. Blink. Look at all these LEDs blinking. Yeah. Some are doing make code, some are using Moose, some are doing Python, but this is 106 kids and uh, DigiKey helped make this happen. And uh, very cool, Ali, good work. Here's another example of someone, they have this, uh, I think it's called the cube bit, and you plug a micro bit into it and you can control a cube, but you can also plug in Clue and you can use our app, Bluefruit Connect, and you can use that to control the cube. Nice. Kind of cool. 
Uh, other folks getting their clues, uh, this was Bu, I believe, uh, who was on our show and tell last week. And uh, this is a environmental sensor clue that will make the LED change color based on, I believe, what it's sensing. Uh, this was kind of neat. This was uh, a circuit Python meetup, and this was in uh, Prune, India. And uh, this was a really neat workshop to see folks do. Um, so we have more information about that. So this is contagious in a good way, you know, that, that you hear that, that in the news Well, we right designed now. Circuit Player yeah. Express and, and Circuit Python for, you know, and we Happening. like MakeHood for workshops because you can actually get something done in 45 minutes. Yeah. Whereas, you know, Arduino is very powerful. I really like Arduino. I use it every day. It's really hard to hard do to a, get a workshop, workshop going, yeah. in 45 minutes because there's so much setup people have to do. It was Valentine's Day last week, so of course people made Valentine's Day projects. They shared those. Um, there's this thing called Psychic Paper in the Doctor Who universe, and this is a CircuitPython powered e-ink display that has this e-ink uh, flash very quickly. Is very it cool. like is it like a Psychic Paper? A psychic yeah, Paper. It's e -ink. It's and then uh, the this wallet? was from the newsletter um, that I like to, to read. Uh, James Bowman, I believe. Uh, from X camera. Yeah. Um, you got Circuit Python going on a uh, 1280 by 720 screen. So yeah. getting because closer I'm, to HDMI out for Circuit Python. We're totally going to so, have yeah. Circuit Python PCs. Yeah. Um, this is Kevin's uh, projects. These are the Circuit Brains. I believe these are going to be live soon. And uh, Tindy, yeah. Tindy, or it might be Crowd Supply. Uh, crowd supply. Yes, it's uh, Crowd Supply. Okay. So you'll see this soon. They were just submitted. Um, nice. And they're also in circuitpython.org slash downloads. Uh, David is working on um, this thermal camera project, but of course got Clue on it using the screen. Alex is still working on the sock puppet robot project. You can see the video number two. This person just got their new Teensy 4, and they got CircuitPython running on it out of the box. So uh, this person is a Teensy fan, and now you can do even more things with your Teensy like... Run it's like phone. a dream getting it's it. It's like a dream. So easy. <laughs> Group Gets has, uh, this is the preview of the new Orange Crab Feather format. Uh, I believe this is another one that will be live shortly. Mm, yeah, it's FPGA. I mean, it's going to be, yeah. you know, a, a, f a fair price yeah. for a powerful board. It's but a monster. You want this beast, this Orange Crab, yeah. which looks cute, but it's a beast. This is uh, a, you get a lot. Feather e Ink Badge. I love this. This is so cute. Yeah, this, this was for, I think, the JoJo... JoJo Cruise. JoJo Cruise badge. Yeah. And it's ink, and on the back, what's this? Oh, it's a feather. Oh, that's yeah. cute. We did an article series. Um, we found everything that is microbit shaped and said, here's Because we were wondering, like, you know, how many are there? Yeah. microbit shaped. And here's the thing. I thought that I knew every microbit shaped board. I was, I didn't even know There's half of them. There's a menagerie of them. There were so many more than yeah. I thought. Like, I never even heard of this. This is like the new bit. Yeah. That's incredible. And then last up, um, this, everyone has seen this on the internet. This is the rotary cell phone. Yeah, this made the rounds. This made the rounds. It has the ink display. It's a rotary cell phone. Now, the thing that a lot of people may or may not know, it depends on which site you looked at it on. If you looked at it on a site and they know anything about electronics or they Google around or they just quote the maker of this, this has a phone inside of it. Yay! And, so and our e-ink uh, breakout And our, and our well. e-ink breakout. And so we're very proud to continue to be the only U.S. cell phone manufacturer. <laughs> For our cell phones. We are. We are U.S. cell phone manufacturer. You're actually really like, it's the side. It has like those like modem yeah. LEDs. <laughs> yeah. This is, this is the future we all wanted. This is a nice project. And that is Python and Harmonies this week. Okay.